What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about InVideo AI. So these AI video generators are getting pretty crazy. And today I want to walk you through using InVideo AI. I want to show you how to do that. And then I want to give my honest review on this tool. There's a lot of pros that I want to talk about. And there's also a lot of cons. And this is going to be a real world style tutorial. I'm a normal real person here with opinions. If you're new to the channel, I run a small media company. I average over a million views every month across my brands and help businesses grow. So I live and breathe content. So this is what the dashboard first looks like when you sign up to InVideo AI, right? And as you can see, there's a bunch of different features here and it looks a bit confusing, but I promise you it's actually pretty simple. And again, if at any point through this video, you want to check out InVideo AI, I'll put my affiliate link in the description for a free trial. So let's first take a look around. This generative pick section is essentially some of the staff favorites for different video styles that you can create. So maybe you have a specific niche in mind that you're gonna be creating content on. This video looks pretty cool. It says, reviving the red Mustang restoration. And essentially what we do here is if we like the style of this video, all we do is click copy prompt, which is this. It says, create a minute long montage showing the restoration of a red Mustang. So these prompts are what are known as what is going to create our videos. And what's really cool is these are examples of what InVideo AI has created for us. So you can use these or you can just just kind of just jump right into it. So if you click on the home button here and just click on create AI video, a huge text prompt box is gonna open. And all we have to do here is type a prompt in which we wanna create a video. Can you create a video about a day in the life of a content creator, period? I need the video to show all parts of a content creator's lifestyle, all the way from setting up equipment, checking analytics, video editing, etc. Then all you do is click on generate video. And what it's gonna do is it's kind of gonna analyze your prompt and then after it's done kind of trying to figure out what you want some new prompts are gonna pop up so then it's gonna ask us some of these questions right so it titled our video here and you have to choose do you want it to use stock media or generative media and what this is is essentially if you want this to be AI generated or just use stock media from websites like Storyblocks or Pixels Bay I highly advise you to do generative media and by the way once you start using this generative media stuff you're actually gonna realize you're gonna have to get probably a somewhat expensive plan, which kind of sucks, but this stuff is really cool. And I actually have the generative plan that's $250 a month because I use this a lot for my little agency. We're actually creating videos that we're using as B-roll in videos. So then you just choose your settings. Do you want it realistic? How long do you want it? And what platform are you gonna be publishing on? Then click continue. And here's some of the videos that I've been creating. And what I'm doing is I'm using these videos as B-roll in my videos. So let's click play here. What's up everyone, I swear. If I had a dollar for every time. Okay, so here's the thing. You're going to quickly realize that AI definitely has some limitations, right? When people are talking, the voices are a little off. You'll notice it gets weird with hands. If humans have to hold things, it really sucks with that. But essentially what you do here is you watch your video and you just ask yourself if this is going to be usable for you. I will say it's really popular right now to create faceless videos using this tool, but I found the videos not to be that great, if I'm being honest. And what happens is the video actually lacks context and the AI voice over just feels really kind of bad but that doesn't mean we can't be using some of this really good footage right all right so that's how you do long form videos and to do short form you do the same exact thing except on the prompt you just choose it to what platform you want to publish on so that is the core feature on how to create videos on in video that's what it's most known for some of the other stuff here if you click on the voices tab you can add your voice I'm pretty sure it uses the 11 labs technology so it's essentially going to clone your voice to be able to read scripts in your voice but if you want my honest opinion I wouldn't be using this as you know like if you really care about your content I feel like you should just use a real voice a human voice and just get your face on camera guys That's my honest input though Then there's a cool feature where you can turn text to clips like for here's an example I told it to do someone 3d printing something on a 3d printer because I actually have a big channel on that So if we watch this you can see it created this from a text little prompt and it's actually 3d printing something It's not very good if you want my honest opinion again AI is gonna be better with some things than others We're still at kind of like that whole new phase of AI. That's the text to clip. Then you have the text to image. I've been creating a lot of this. What I did was I needed a video of a woman putting a piece of gum in her mouth. So what I did was I had in video AI actually create an image of a woman doing this, right? Here's the image. And then I went to the other feature here where it turns a photo into a video. Again, this is crucial guys. This feature in in video AI, how to turn photos into videos is insane and is a game changer in itself. So check this out again. I told you I need 
needed a video of a woman putting gum in her mouth. This is how I got it for an ad we're doing. So check this out. It took that photo and it put it into a video. And again, I did this with humans or check this video out. This is actually a friend of mine that we work with. Check it out. That was a real image. So it gets a little freaky sometimes dealing with the AI stuff because it does weird stuff, but it's still so, so cool guys. So that's the main gist of how to use in video AI. Essentially, we have the media library, we have the video creator, we have the text to clipper, and then you can turn photos into videos. And down here is the history. So my honest opinion on this tool is that it's decent, right? There's so much cool features you can do, but I think if you're looking to do like the whole faceless video thing and just plug and play and upload this stuff, you're gonna have some problems because like, for, for example, this video here, you think it might do well, but like people are like really kind of numb to AI already and they're just like that just doesn't it doesn't do great on socials if you want my honest opinion again I get over a million views a month and that's because I study retention analytics and content this is a great tool to be leveraging to like add to your arsenal but if you're looking to just upload stuff like directly from here the peer form videos from in video right now if you just upload those they're not gonna do great you're gonna have to do a different script you're gonna have to use a real voiceover but the video portion there's a lot to work with here and again like I said we're using this for b-roll if you're gonna have any luck whatsoever with like just plug and play it's probably going to be on the short form content because again you could have like a, a seven second clip that's really weird and might go viral that way using ai but for long form it's a lot harder and again hit me up in the comments let me know what your opinions on this are like what are you going to be using it for i'm a normal guy please consider subscribing this is my in video ai review and tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one